Disclaimer, the following video you're about to watch may contain mature language, personal opinions, bad grammar, as well as Spanish. Anyone sensitive to these matters are recommended to turn away now. With that in mind, I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome, everyone, to part 10, I believe, of our Minecraft Let's Play. I am Red Eye Skull. And <clears throat> had something in my throat there. And <clears throat> today we'll just be going over some of the things that we've been doing. Ooh, you got a little glimpse there, but I want to show that a little bit later. First of all, I'd like to show you our farm where we've got a couple of beehives. Ow. A couple of beehives which can be crafted using... Well, essentially getting some of the stuff from over there. You'll see. The safest way to get uh, honey and honeycomb, for example, you find a beehive here, is you would use a couple of shears or uh, a glass bottle. Uh, just doing that. Make sure the campfire is underneath. Even if you had like flowers in your offhand or just in your hands in general, they will attack you if you take away their honey. Now... As you can probably see, since we came back from the nether, well, we needed a place to store our chemistry sets. And by that, I mean our potions. And thus, I have created this tower here. A little uh, case of what we've got. I created a water elevator using soul sand. To propel me forward you will see just as I close this door and huzzah and you'll be happy to know this is the one thing that has a roof right now <laughs> or maybe you won't be happy to hear that uh, what I mean to say is it won't be the only thing with a roof soon but as we can see this is my laboratory where I will create a whole bunch of potions, which I have actually already, as you can see. Collected a few, whole bunch of nether wart. I have a whole bunch of messy things here for now. But I basically created a spiral stairway with soul sand and just covered up with nether wart just to grow it out. And here we have all these potions. I've created several different kinds all matching with each case we've got the buffs on this section the regenerative and resistant section we have the debuffs and harming and we have miscellaneous so here so we've got all the buffs potion of strength strength 2 speed or swiftness swiftness 2 And as you can see, they are all created from said uh, potion, uh, ingredients. So you add water bottle, and then you convert that water bottle into an awkward potion using nether wart. You would create the brewing stand. You would put a blaze... Um, what do you call those things? Uh, well, let me show you. You use the blaze rod that you acquired from the nether. Put it in the crafting and create blaze powder. With that blaze powder, you put into the brewing stand as so. And that would fuel this section here. And then you just put three water bottles. You fill them with glass bottles, which you fill with water. And put nether wart, you get your awkward potion. From awkward potion, you use another blaze powder to get a potion of strength. And then you add redstone to extend its, its time. Or glowstone. To extend its potency and strength. Same with swiftness and the like. What I've done here is the ingredients for each of these potions I've created. Nether wart, blaze powder, redstone or glowstone. You get the potion of strength. Uh, nether wart, sugar and glowstone or redstone is potion of swiftness. Going into the healing and regenerate and resistant. Nether wart glycerin melon slice and glowstone to give you the instant potion of healing and nether wart magma cream 
Redstone Dust for Potion of Fire Resistance. Then you've got Golden Carrot with the Fermented Spider Eye to, to give you Potion of Invisibility. The original potion you would get would be Nether Wart, then Carrot for the Golden Carrot to give you Potion of Night Vision. And then you'd use the Fermented Eye to create a opposite, but apparently that means invisibility, so... And gas tier, which is the potion of regeneration, nether wart, uh, nether wart, gas tier, and then either redstone or glowstone for the potion of regeneration. Almost every potion requires nether wart first to be turned into an awkward potion, and then add the current ingredients, like so. Nether wart sugar, fermented spider eye, turns it from a potion of swiftness into slowness. Then you have spider eye for potion of poison. And again, with redstone, extend the time of the poison. And glowstone for the potency, it's much stronger poison, though the timing is a lot less. Then you've got your potion of weakness, which is the only one that only potion that requires just water before anything. You put water bottles, and then instead of nether wart, you would just use a fermented spider eye, and that would immediately get you the potion of weakness. On top of that, we've got Spider Eye, then uh, <clears throat> Nether Wart, Spider Eye. There was only so much you can fit in into these chests, so bear with me. But yeah, Nether Wart, just stick with it. Always Nether Wart to make awkward potions, then Spider Eye, then Fermented Spider Eye, and then Glowstone to give you Potion of Harming. Finally, we go into the miscellaneous section Nether Wart, Pufferfish. And redstone to give you the potion of water breathing. Nether wart, phantom membrane, and redstone dust, phantom membrane, you can imagine what that's from, to give you potion of slow falling. Nether wart, golden carrot, like I said before, to give you night vision, and red add a little bit of redstone to make it last longer. And then rabbit's foot, uh, nether wart, rabbit's foot. Redstone Dust or Glowstone to give you a potion of leaping. And that's basically all the potions one can make. You can also, what's the word, dip the uh, potions within arrows. But you would require Dragon's Breath to make lingering potions. For that, would require us to get to the end, which we are not there yet. Therefore, we can only do so much. However, if you use, uh, what's it called again? Um, I forget the name. Hang on. Gunpowder. You add it onto any potion. Any potion. Any of these potions. It becomes a splash potion. Which you can see here. These are basically throwable potions. And as you can see I'm all packed. Almost. These are all the potions I'm preparing. For the end. Against the ender dragon. We haven't found a stronghold yet, but, but, we will. For now, I decided to just show you all what I've been working on. This nice little tower. Not sure what name I want to call it, though. Hmm. Yeah, I want to name each section of my base. Bit of lava. And that, but yeah, I want to. So you've got your awkward potion. So I have. Let's do a potion of water breathing. So, puffer fish into the awkward potion as a live demonstration. Also, at the same time, I will show you how you craft a. Uh... Where is it? See if I can find it. Um. He heard that. There it is. Brewing stand. Three cobblestones and one full blaze rod to create this. Or you could just, um, you know, raid a village. But we're not doing that for now. So there's the potion of water breathing. And let's just extend that. With redstone. So that's all this chemistry section is for now. So we'd need to full out fill out the uh, cylindrical part of it of the brewing stand with another blaze powder as you will see once I am done 
Gonna take this fire out. There we go. Eight full minutes for each potion. Then I'm just gonna put that there, and there we go. It's all filled. So we're gonna keep these potions of water breathing. But that's how it goes. So we walk down here. All the nether wart. As I'm constantly going up and down it. There we go. Now let's get a better view. How nice. Let us move on to the next thing I want to show you for today. First of all, I want to show you how you make a beehive. Let me find it. I cannot find it. Where is it? Uh, come on. Did I really just skim past it? Pretty sure I did. Oh, well, here's your honeycomb block. Four by four, uh, two by two honeycomb to get honeycomb block. And there it is, beehive. So just spruce planks, oak planks, any kind of plank, and three honeycomb to acquire honeycomb. I think I already mentioned this, but I will just show you shears or a glass bottle. Now this works with um, uh, what do you call those things again? Let me just quickly jump on. Yeah, bee nest. They're different from beehive. Let me just go jump down and break my legs again. So, bottle gets you one bottle of honey. And shears gets you honeycomb. And the only reason my own bees aren't attacking me is because of the smoke from the campfire. And let me just double show you. That works. Same pr principle applies. You'll need lots of flowers to surround a beehive or a bee nest so that they c the bees can collect pollen. So the same principle applies. There you go, there's your honeycomb. And you can use the honey, just like honeycomb, honey bottles, four by four, gets you a honey block. And those are good for redstone contraptions, which I will show you in the next part, as I didn't have enough time to put it all together. I have all my equipment all set. With the quartz, with the redstone, I have enough I have slime blocks, did a little hunting, honey blocks, and sticky pistons. I can't wait to redstone this place up a bit. And we have a... Oh, I don't know if I have done this or not, but we've voluntarily kidnapped a villager. And we have a mending one. But for now... Haven't had a chance to use them. I'm planning to uh, voluntarily kidnap a few more. On top of that, I'm finally going to put a roof on my build. Not for this part, but hopefully by the next. Because the next one, I want to... What's the name? Yes, the next part, I want to be heading out to acquire... A stronghold. I have 15 ender pearls and I have blaze powders. Putting those two together creates the eye of ender. And I want to collect all of those. And here we get the recipe to unlock an ender chest. Something which is very nice. We need obsidians and an ender eye. Obs uh, ender chests just like any other chests. Except that they are portable. So I could like fill. Like for example this barrel. Basically the same thing. I can store a whole bunch of things. And then all those things will be inside the ender chest. And then I can pick up the ender chest. Granted I tell you now. Pick it up with a silk touch axe. Pickaxe I mean. Because otherwise 
it's going to break and then you're going to lose all your stuff kind of thing. Otherwise, let us look at our map once again. Also, that wandering trader just kind of teleported into my base. I don't know why. But yeah, that's how we are. That's our tower. That's our nether portal room. And that's the rest of the base. Right down in the center of it all. And it will look a lot more different once it has a roof and everything. Can't wait for that. This is Lancelot. My noble steed in golden armor. I can ride him, but if I hit shift and that... Saddle, golden harsh armor. Nice. Chaos is doing fine in there. And so is this guy. Yes. So, yes. We have now acquired our potions tower. Alchemy tower, I'm going to call it for now. Uh, fortune mine is what I'll call the mine over there. And I don't know. This is just going to be the base hut or something along those lines. I'm not again. I'm not the best at naming. <laughs> That's going to be the Aperture Nether <laughs> or Android now. <laughs> and that's about it. So yeah, that should be everything I want to do for this part. Showing off the potions, a little bit about the bees. So now, in the next part, we now will use all of our Eyes of Enders. Well, hopefully not all, but we will use them to find a stronghold and we will raid the stronghold. And then finally in part 12, we will reach the end and battle the Ender Dragon. And that will be the end of this Let's Play. There may be an extras video, but yeah, for like the whole completed thing about the whole completed base and everything like that. But that'll be in like, I plan on doing that for like months uh, kind of thing because it takes a lot, a lot of time for uh, these Minecraft videos. As you will see right now, you can see the data. We are on day 363 of Minecraft. Every day is like 20 minutes and you can... Uh, day night cycle and you can sleep away the majority of it so you know it takes a lot to condense to these kinds of 18 20 30 minutes depending videos so until then I'll see you all in part 11 where we will face uh, no search for hunt down the stronghold. Yeah, much better. I am Red Eye Skull. Ciao.